Yeah, there we go. Fuck. Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink, the trained unprofessional. Konnichiwa! Watashiwa Deckerlink this. Um. <laughs> what is it? Hajime mashte. Doza yoroshiku. Onegashimasu. Extracurricular activities. Ni yokoza. Yeah. Hello! So for those of you who have been paying attention to some of the more recent comments about this game that I have given, and, and kind of subtly, I haven't spelled it out, um, I've played this, I've been playing this game for two years straight, uh, every once in a while I would take a break from uh, things in general, but never, I've pretty much never taken a break from this game exclusively. Um, I basically decided that um, I... I want to take a break from this game because I love this game and I don't want to become... I don't want to get to the point where just thinking about playing this game is just like, ugh, again, uh, because I really do like this game. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and play the Dozer route uh, for the new art update days, um, and that's going to be what I play for now, uh, and then when I get to the end of that, then I'm going to go on a bit of a break from this game because I have already played every other route for such an, to such an extent that I'm just like I want to do something else for a little bit so that's what I'm gonna wind up doing so for this episode we will be starting a completely new game uh, and playing the uh, dozer route a lot of people have been asking for the dozer route and I, I want to play the dozer route too so there we go that's what we're gonna do all right, uh, what was the last president we did? And the next one is Grant, so we're gonna be Grant this time around. Yay, Grant. Awesome, because Ulysses, I don't feel like using that. So we're gonna be Grant. All right, Doza. How about Dozer? Hey Dozer, why don't we practice together today? Sure, I wanted to work on my precision since we've been on break, if you're fine with that. That sounds like a good idea. I need to work a little more on my ball control. Let's take the far court and set up. I'll grab the cones if you'll grab the balls. <laughs> All right. You and Dozer gathered the needed equipment for your session and you set it aside for the time being. How about we warm up for a little before we before starting on the drill? Oh, genki desu ka? I don't remember what that means. I fucking love the new Dozer sprite. He looks so much more... alive, you know? <laughs> Good idea. I did what I could to keep in shape during the break. Looks like you did the same? Yeah. We'll have to... Yeah! We'll have to hit up the gym together sometime. I could use someone to go with. Mm-hmm, sure. Man, he's a tough one to carry on a conversation with. He's always so quiet. Um... Should we try again? Should we try to start the conversation with him again, or should we just start the rally? I have a hand, I have a hand, I have a hand, I don't have a hand anymore! Oh my god, I'm getting eaten alive! <laughs> talk to him? Alright. Let's talk to him. Try again. Do anything else during the break? Not really. Same here, aside from hitting the gym a few times, I didn't do much outside my room. How about we get started? Oh, he shut us down. Oh man. Ack, I guess he doesn't want to talk right now. Damn it. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, we should get started, huh? We'll get back to the end of the groove of things, then we can set up the cones and have some target practice. You started a simple rally with Dozer just hitting the ball back and forth to each other while trying to get the feel back for your racket. It didn't take long to get all the motions back, and you were both keeping up a decent rally. If you're ready, we can start with our drill now. Dozer nodded his approval, and the two of you began setting up cones on your courts. Dozer's forte is not only the strength he can put into his shots, but that he's fairly precise with it too. I have him on speed and variety on my shots though. We'll just play a set for now. Points are scored normally, or if you hit a cone. Or if your opponent knocks over their cone, their own cones. You want to take the first serve? Nah, no, you take it. Okay, then. Once on the other side of the court, you signaled that you were ready to start. Here it comes, Dozer. 
You tossed the ball up to start the first point and served it to Dozer. You rallied the ball back and forth, and you lost track of your cones and ended up kicking one of them away. Gotta be aware of your cones, Grant! Yeah, yeah, I got it. It won't happen again. As you continue to play, Dozer managed to knock over two more of your cones before the first game of the set ended. And you hadn't hit any of his yet. Man, he put so much power into his shots, I can't help but play defensively. I can't set myself up to aim for his cones. It was his turn to serve, and on your return, you almost had a cone, though when he hit the ball back to you, you lost another cone since the serve had pushed you back. Damn it, I can't hit the cones! You were getting irritated with yourself after that. Four cones were down on your court, and none of his had gone yet! Again, he made the serve to you, but this time, when you returned the ball, Dozer kicked a cone off the court. It was almost like he went out of his way to kick it. Hey, what'd you say to me about watching the cones? I guess I should do the same, huh? To Game 2 wrapped up after that, and the score was currently one game to each of you. But Dozer could win by just taking out all of your cones. Maybe I should ask him for some advice before we get started on the next game? Do we ask our opponent for advice? Do we dare grovel to our enemy in this particular moment? Alright, we're asking him. Everyone say an ask. Hey, Dozer, can you give me an advice on how you control your shots as good as you do? Hmm, I don't have any advice. Oh, okay. I just can't handle the power to get my aim down. I'm sure you get it. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I'll just have to watch how he plays. After a short break, you started up the next game. Dozer was playing differently, though. He wasn't hitting the ball with as much force now, and it was giving you the chance to try placing your shots where you wanted. He's throwing the fucking game, God damn it! A couple points later, you finally hit one of the cones you were aiming for! Ah, finally! I got one! Dozer gave you a thumbs up, and you continued playing. You were able to knock over a few more cones before Dozer finished off with your last one, ending the game with his victory. Man, you have great- you really have great accuracy with the ball! I need to practice with you more to see how you do it! Uh, if you'd like. It helps to practice just one-on-one. -on -one. You sat with him on a bench next to your court for a, f for a short break. So, Dozer, if you don't mind me asking, what made you want us to play tennis? Hmm? What makes you ask? Well, you're a big guy. I thought you'd play something like football. that make more sense, huh? I'd rather stick to a small team. I wanted to play sports, but I but didn't want a ton of people to deal with. Tennis is a great sport, and the team is small. It's perfect for me. That's a good reason. You get to know your team better when it's so much smaller. Mm-hmm. The conversation ended there, as nothing else came to mind for you to talk about. And Dozer seemed to have nothing else to add. I guess we should get back to practice. Yeah. Suggest doubles or continue with targets. I mean, he said it helps to do singles, one-on-one -on -one matches. So, I would say continue with the targets, especially since we want to work on that, but that's just me. What do y'all think? Everyone says the targets. All right, continue with the targets. You just want to stick with the target practice? Yeah. Great. Let's get the cones set back up, and we'll start another set. You set up all the cones again and started back on the same drill you were doing before your break. Dozer had gone back to playing like he was when you first started, and as the games progressed, you were finally getting the balls under control. Something else you hadn't noticed about how he was playing was that he didn't, de didn't deal with drop shots very well, and had the, the tendency to return the ball with far less force. You began to use that to your advantage, and a, co and a couple of times it led to him stumbling over his cones. In the end, he ended up winning, since you still were still having a hard time hitting the cones, you had learned how to handle him, but you hadn't. You still didn't have the accuracy he had. Whew, you about had me. I caught on to a few things while watching you that time. My drop shots were really throwing you off, it seemed. It's a bit harder for me to get, those, get to those low shots. I have to say, you did better return him up power on that second set. Only because it was just the two of us, and it gave me a better chance to get a feel for how you play. Looks like things are going good over here with you guys. I've been wa- I love coach. I've been watching the past few games you played. You can learn a bit from each other. Those might have a lot of strength behind his shots, but once you learn how to counter that, he's finished. 
And Grant, you don't normally play against power, so it's good practice for you. You can help Dozer get past his counters, so you two will be better rounded. How are the other guys doing? The coach shook his head and sighed. Spencer and Darius are rallying with each other right now, and they're just doing fine. Darius is really getting some good practice. Chester's with the ball machine. It's like he forgot everything during our break, and he's been hit by several balls. Eh, he'll get back into the swing of things. He better, otherwise he's gonna have some extra sessions with just me and him, and he's not gonna like that. I might even have to pair Dozer up with him. You two are both big on strength, but he lacks the same kind of control that you have. I can help if needed. Maybe he can learn something from me. I can only hope. Shouting could be heard from Chester a few courts over, and you could see him rolling around on the ground holding his crotch. Oh, poor guy. For crying out loud. Coach sighed again and trotted over to your down teammate to check on him. I'll see if he needs some help getting Chester up. Good idea. Coach and Dozer hoisted Chester to his feet and escorted him to a bench to sit on while the bull whined about being in pain. Oh, pick a buggy. Thank you for the follow and hello, Stephanie. How'd you manage to get hit by another ball? Were you goofing off again? No, it fired two balls back to back. I hit one and the other hit me. Oh, it does do that from time to time. Maybe you were actually doing what I told you to do. I was. <laughs> Why? Chester doubled over on the bench and continued to whimper. He had chose her. <laughs> he chose her. He had Chester. Fuck. Dozer handed Chester two bottles of cold water. Thanks, Dozer. I just need to drink one for now. Put the other between your legs. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that might help. Thanks again. Jeez, I guess I'll go ahead and call it a day for now. You guys got a couple hours of practice in, so that'll be good enough for now. We'll be back here on Wednesday, and I'll see the two of you in class tomorrow. I'll go let the other two know as well. I guess it's time to head home, then. Yeah, you gonna be alright, Chester? Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. You two don't have to stick around. I'll stay with Chester Grant. You can go. You have to catch the bus, right? Yeah, I do. I'll see you guys later. Good practice today, Dozer. We'll work uh, We'll work some more together next time, alright? Alright, take care. Made it to the bus with plenty of time to spare. It won't be a long wait, and the ride is short, too. Uh, here's my stop. Home is just around the block from here. And here it is. The shit we've already seen before. What do you mean I've already seen it? I have not seen this shit. I've already seen this! We already know! It's Maria. Yay. Okay, now it's day two. <laughs> so, that was the first day of the dozer route. It's the same basic first day that we usually deal with, but at least it's a different story than one I've already seen five times already. So, we will be continuing with the dozer route in the next episode. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the trained up professional. Speaking for the voices on my head when I say, good night. Bye, everyone! <laughs>